They make bad look so good. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down the top 10 sexy female movie villains. Is it cold in here? Just to give all the evil gals a fair shot, we're not counting cartoon characters or comic book supervillains. Aliens are fair game though, as long as they're hot. You wouldn't shoot me, would you, Doug? After all we've been through? Number 10, Lori Quaid, Total Recall. Come on, baby. You know you're the girl of my dreams. Kicking off our list is Sharon Stone as the seemingly loving wife to Arnie's memory-altered hero. Talk. I said talk! I'm not your wife! The hell you're not. I swear to God, I never saw you before six weeks ago. Her marriage is just a memory implant. There to keep an eye on him, she's actually a deadly agent whose function is to act as a failsafe in case his memories return. Honey, you wouldn't hurt me, would you, sweetheart? In the 2012 version, Kate Beckinsale rocks the same role but takes it to new acrobatic and lethal heights. Lori, what the f if living a lie came with either of these ladies as a perk, would it really be so bad? Consider that a divorce. Number nine, Madison Lee, Charlie's Angels, full throttle. Hello, Angels. Madison Lee. Demi Moore plays a rogue Charlie's Angel, one that quit the crime-fighting biz to become a master assassin. Why? Why be an angel when I can play God? Stunning, despite having some extra years on the current team, she's not only a brilliant fighter, but rocks a Nobel Prize in astrophysics. I was never good. I was great. That's right, she's not just looks, but brains as well. This is it, you ready? Are you? Number eight, Baroness, G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra. If I were really there, I might actually let you touch me. I'll send a jet. Business first. It took a special actress to portray the glasses and leather-clad Russian intelligence officer of Cobra. Get out! Nice shoes. Sienna Miller brings the look, if not the accent, to the ruthless role. A certified badass, despite being the product of brainwashing, she lays a serious beatdown on all the Joes and their headquarters. Unsurprisingly, she also toys with men's emotions. I told you I'd kill him if he touched you again. I heard you the first time. Number seven, TX, Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. I like this car. Uh, what are you Good things come in small packages. On the same token, the deadliest of the Terminators come wrapped in supermodels. <laughs> Christana Loken plays this emotionless killer to her strengths using her piercing stare to show that she means business. Sure, it's odd that Skynet equipped its liquid metal hybrid with the ability to increase her bust size, but you can't argue with the results. Number six, Dr. Julia Harris, Horrible Bosses. So from now on, what I would like you to do is just, is just tell me, you know, when and if uh, I cross the line. Okay? Okay. Now. This film is about, you guessed it, bosses that you don't want to have. But if we were forced to choose, yeah. Taking a page out of Demi Moore's Disclosure Handbook, Jennifer Aniston plays a dentist who sexually harasses her male assistant in all the wrong ways. Ah, I think I can make out our little friend right there. Stop it. Oh, Shabbat Shalom, somebody circumcised. Okay. While he's engaged to be married, this simply drives her crazy. You're gonna fuck my slutty little mouth. You hear the words you say sometimes? I mean, who talks like that? Sure, she's not a life-threatening villain, but when you mess with a man's relationship, the gloves come off. Because if you so much as look at my sexy little ass, Julia, I will have yours locked the f up, you crazy bitch whore! Number five, Regina George, Mean Girls. An evil takes a human form in Regina George. Oh, this 
cool, because she may seem like your typical selfish, backstabbing, slut-faced hoe bag, but in reality, she is so much more than that. This backstabbing female antagonist is played by the always delightful and stunning Rachel McAdams. Oh my god, I love your skirt. Where did you get it? Uh, it was my mom's in the 80s. <gasps> Vintage! Thanks! <laughs> That is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. The only difference is that in this film, she actually plays a memorable high school bully who goes above and beyond all the mean traits that would categorize her as vindictive. Trang Pack is a grusky little biatch. Still true. Don Schweitzer is a fat virgin. Still half true. <laughs> These range from being incredibly controlling and deceitful all the way to belittling others. Do you want to have sex with him? No, thank you. Good, so it's settled. So you can go shave your back now. Bye, Jason. One thing's for sure, this princess is not completely right in the head. Mother <laughs> Number four, Xenia on a top, golden eye. Before she was X-Men's Jean Grey and the Phoenix, Famke Jensen was leaving Bond breathless. A Russian ex-Air Force pilot turned member of Yanis, she gets to bring her kinky murderous tendencies to work. She's so stunning that we can't help but feel a little bit of jealousy as her poor victims get the life squeezed out of them. Still, what a way to go. She always did enjoy a good squeeze. Number three, Sill Species. Where's a good place to find a man? Well, there's plenty of guys at the end around the corner. It's a club. You won't have any trouble meeting somebody there. Thank you. Natasha Hensridge plays this bombshell that's out of this world. All she cares about is mating. Don't go. Please. I want a baby. What? While we can't fault her insatiable sexual desire and smoke and hot bod, this villain's promiscuity is just an excuse to get pregnant and spawn deadly creatures. And an anchor baby would really be the least of your worries since she kills her mates. But this kind of thing doesn't usually happen to me. I'm sure you still try your luck though, eh? <laughs> Number two, Jennifer Check, Jennifer's body. No way. Oh, Megan. Transformed from not just another red-headed cheerleader, in Jennifer's body, she was offered up as a sacrifice to Satan. We come here tonight to sacrifice the body of... What's your name again, Tiffany? My name is Jennifer. Super. Not a virgin like the worshippers were led to believe. She doesn't die, but instead becomes possessed by a demon, giving her superhuman strength, speed, and even the power of levitation. <gasps> it's really cool, just watch, look. It's like some X-Men shit, right? That's right, this succubus not only kills, but looks pretty damn fine while doing it. Can you patron Santa Paula's causes? Please give me the power to crush this bitch. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Mara, Mara, on the wall, who is fairest of them all? In Africa, the saying goes, in the bush, an elephant can kill you, a leopard can kill you, and a black mamba can kill you. I think I can't find you. Huh? Your goddamn shirt is sticking out of the door. My. We've let this place go to hell, haven't we? Right where it belongs. Number one, Catherine Trammell, Basic Instinct. What happens? She kills him. Going full circle to round off our list is the sizzling femme fatale inhabited by none other than Sharon Stone. Killing isn't like smoking. Quit. As Catherine, a psychotic serial killer, she uses the murders that she herself performs to inspire her novels. I'd have to be pretty stupid to write a book about killing and then kill somebody the way I described it in my book. 
I'd be announcing myself as the killer. She's best known for her iconic counter-interrogation skills, as well as her creative use of ice picks. Agree with our list? Which sexy movie villain gets your blood boiling? A lot of vagina. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just not getting it. It sounded like you said your name was a lot of, uh... Never mind. For more top tens that are easy on the eyes and published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You can take that fake apology and shove it right up your hairy- <laughs>